How to Play Shake It Off by Miss Taylor Swift on the guitar. This was highly requested and also I've gotten so much hate these last few days for liking a TS album over a rap one, for shaving my hairy butthole on YouTube uncensored, and for role playing on Jeffrey Epstein's island as a gay bottom from Thailand. So I thought it'd be appropriate to play this and show you how to shake things off on the guitar in case you can relate if you're like bullied and you're like a victim and stuff. So I'm gonna put my capo on the third fret and it's just three chords, but you play four total chords. So it's gonna start with A minor and then it's gonna go to C and then it's gonna go to G major twice. And so it'll sound like this. minor C, G, and G, and then the bridge is a little bit hard because like she raps really well like with the beat and the sick beat and so you have to kind of like time it really well and like be a good rapper like her. So that's how you do it. If you are currently receiving hate for any reason, whether it be shaving your hairy butthole or for role playing on an island, um, I'm with you. Let's shake it off, shake it off on the guitar. Jeffrey Epstein's island has been bought by Kevin Leonardo. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I just prayed. Epstein or Taylor? Taylor. I quickly became homophobic. Hating on gay people became part of my lifestyle. How to Play 22 by Miss Taylor Swift on the guitar. So Taylor wrote this song about her really fun 22nd birthday party and I wanted to emulate that when I was turning 23 a couple years ago. So I rented this really big Airbnb with all my friends and like we had this really big party and like before the party even started, one of them actually came in my eye like full on nut. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. It hurt, but I didn't know that like my other friends could see that. And so when I went back out, all of my other friends were like, Kevin, like your eye is so red. And I was like, oh my gosh, like that's because like someone just came. I guess I had a really fun like last day of being 22 and all my friends like laughed and stuff. It was so embarrassing. I had to ask my friends for like eye drops and stuff. My last day of being 22 was definitely really, really fun. So this is how you play 22. So it's just four chords. It's just G major and then it's D and then it's C major and then it's back to D. So it's kind of like, the intro is kind of like. It feels like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters, make fun of our exes, uh-uh, uh-uh. Jeffrey Dahmer's victims or Taylor? If I could bring them back, I would. Here are my top three EDM songs by Miss Taylor Swift herself. Third place goes to I Did Something Bad. I love what she did with the electronic vibe of this song. Like the she did with her like with her own voice. I feel like that's better than like any other EDM DJ sounding thing that people do. I personally don't do drogas, but like 
if I had to, I'd want it to be done with this song. Second place goes to This Is What You Came For. For people that don't know, Taylor Swift actually wrote this song. She's actually even in the song, like the second ooh, ooh, ooh. And there's a demo of her singing it first, if you don't believe me. I don't know, cry. This is like the true EDM song and I feel like it's only good because Taylor Swift wrote it. This song definitely wouldn't exist or like be successful without the fact that she wrote the song. But yeah, I love the lyrics. I love the EDM electronic drop. Okay, this song takes the crown for best EDM song for me. I feel like this is the best like dubstep in a song like ever. And I also feel like it's really interesting because before this song, Taylor was like a country starlet and people didn't expect her to be so like crazy with EDM and stuff. I didn't like the song at first. I thought it was really annoying, but it grew on me so, so fast. When the beat drops, I just feel like I'm on a roller coaster and it feels like I'm at a rave on something. So I Knew You Were Trouble, Taylor's version takes the crown. The Bloom reports that Taylor Swift and YouTuber Kevin Leonardo are dating. So Joe Alwyn, our beloved ex-lover, was spotted in public today in London. And you know, he looks good. Like I would definitely still bang, but he looks a little bit tired. I'm just not confident that he's looking or feeling his best. And like, I do feel bad for him. Like my friend and I had this convo today. And honestly, like I do feel bad for him. Like I'm not trying to make him feel worse. Not that he would actually see this video, but like my friends like looking raggedy as hell. It's just so funny to me because like you will never catch this woman looking raggedy in public after a breakup. Like that will literally never happen. This is Taylor Swift after a breakup. Like, she will literally never not serve, me thinks. I've literally never ever seen her in the course of her entire career, like, photographed in a way where she looked not put together. Like, this woman will always serve in public. This is after her 2016 breakup, like, hello? This woman inspires me. Taylor Swift's 1989 won over T-Pab, not because she's white, but because the album is better. Um, 19 or Black History Month, I mean, I'm not black. So I don't celebrate Black History Month, but like, I appreciate that month and the culture. So, I mean, I guess 1990 is on my mind more, but I appreciate both. I mean, I don't care about Asian Month either. Like, I'd rather listen to an album than celebrate like Asian Heritage Month or something. What's something that you did before COVID came? I used to take unfinished drinks at the bar and just drink them with my friends. Like at some point in the night, I would walk around the bar and just like find every drink that people just didn't want anymore. Like like maybe they're like half empty or something and I would just take them and drink them and share them with my friends. We should have gotten drugged. You what? 1989 or abortion? I picked 1989. Oh, Cause I don't like, I don't, I can't get pregnant. I mean, I wish I could. Oh my God, look at that face. You look like my next mistake. Love's a game, wanna play. We normalize liking white guys. Stop. Do you still see my pube shaving video? Tell me if you still see my pubes on my TikTok. Okay, just have to make sure it's still there. Top five racial slurs. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. 